often called Heart Day, but that has a completely different meaning for mm -hmm. several Houstonians who met at Memorial Hermann, the hospital they say saved their lives. A young lady is celebrating the one year anniversary of her heart transplant while her mentor is waiting for his chance at a new heart. The Darnells have a lot to celebrate this Valentine's Day. Five years ago this week, complete drama and utter terror for them after Marion rolled out of bed, fell on the floor, and died from a massive heart attack. Kimberly raced to call 911 and started CPR. And I did it for about five to six minutes by our estimate. And uh, then the first paramedic came in. He was blue, which I have never, I never believed people really turned that color blue, but he really was that shade of blue. Um, and they worked on him for a while and then they defibrillated him. I woke up in a hospital two weeks later, not knowing what happened. I really thought I had had a car accident because I had, the last thing in my mind was I was a 40 year old guy. I just had a massive heart attack that never, well, it did kill me because I was, uh, dead for about 19 minutes total time. Marion's heart specialist at Memorial Hermit explains that Marion had extensive blockages and wasn't a candidate for open heart surgery. Only option for him is to go for an advanced heart failure treatment. And in his case, it was a left ventricular assist device or what they call LVAC. Mm -hmm. So in the interim, uh, he was also put on heart lung machine or what we call an ECMO machine to support him because uh, his own heart was uh, not able to pump enough blood to the other organs and he was on complete life support. They later got to revisit the life flight helicopter that rushed him to the hospital. He was expected to have major brain damage, but beat the odds and quickly recovered. It is a complete and utter miracle that I have no deficits. Because they were telling my wife that I may never walk again. Or be able to talk. He attributes it to prayers. The Darnells immediately began paying it forward, becoming mentors for others going through the process of an LVAD. When Marion was so sick, my first thing I started doing was praying that he would survive and that it would be a testimony that, you know, God is real, miracles do happen. And so from that, we were able to go into these rooms and meet these people and just share the story and show them that life is very possible. They got to meet Kiki Hill, a college student who was also being treated at Memorial Hermann. She was in a new fight for her life after battling a rare childhood cancer called osteosarcoma more than a decade ago. She had the blood clot first, and then that's when the induced coma came after that. And after that, they finished the chemo, and the chemo gave a heart failure. As each year went by, her heart got weaker until doctors said an LVAD was needed to save her life. It was shocking for her, but the Darnells provided much needed TLC. Oh, they helped me a lot. Like, I was like depressed. I was, I didn't want to live, you know what I'm saying? So like, um, they helped me a lot. Like, I can attest to that. She was in a bad, yeah. bad place and we couldn't get her out of it. But when Marion and his wife came in and they talked to her and they, he showed her the airbag and, you know, explained everything to her, when they left the room, she was a totally different person. That mentorship forever helped Kiki. And here she is rocking her seven pound heart equipment. And here's Kiki after her heart transplant. Now this Valentine's Day, she's celebrating the one year anniversary of her new heart. I'm super thankful because mm -hmm. I've seen three miracles with her. Mm -hmm. I mean, the right people in the right place at the right time. And I do not know how it happened except for God. Two hearts brought together during tough circumstances, but on the right beat for a bright future. Now, Marion has been on a heart transplant list for three years and is hopeful the right match will come along at the right time. So maybe at that time they can they can flip this and Kiki can then be his mentor about oh, what to expect with the transplant. That's really neat how they were able mm -hmm. to form that bond. All right, thanks for bringing us. Perfect story on that.